What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you a brand new video where we're going to be talking about how you can lose weight while still mostly playing video games and watching Netflix and doing all sorts of things like that. Now I have to preface this video by saying that I am not a healthcare professional, I'm not a nutritionist, so of course, consult your doctor before you make any major lifestyle changes um, with regards to eating or with regards to working out, things like that. With that being said, um, I wanted to make this video because I've seen a lot of my friends and family and acquaintances and people on Facebook and things like that people right now it's summertime in new york and people want to look their best and they've realized now that they've taken their shirt off that they don't like how they look so they want to lose weight and of course you should start months before the time that you want to look good but you know sometimes it takes that first beach trip or that first pool party for you to realize that okay i don't actually like how i look and now it's time to get serious so you know this is the perfect time to start starting now is the best time right no matter what time of year it is just if you want to look better just start now right don't wait until a certain thing or a certain day start right when you start to feel that you don't like how you look and i'm sure you guys saw the thumbnail or maybe i'll put it somewhere up on the screen here of my heaviest and my lightest weights um i i my heaviest was 218 pounds that was when i weighed the most that i've ever weighed in my life and the other picture was when i weighed 168 pounds uh, and since then i've only gained five pounds and that's been about two years so i've successfully kept off 45 of the 50 pounds and those last five pounds were essentially on purpose because I started based on my body frame I actually started to look like just too skinny um, so yeah I, I've effectively kept the weight off for a very long time so I wanted to make this video because during the time that I lost 50 pounds I primarily was gaming making YouTube videos and watching Netflix and going to school uh, the first 25 pounds of my weight loss I didn't go to the gym at almost at all i would go maybe once every other week or something like that i was super inconsistent with it um, but i was doing walking every day like i was walking about a mile or so just because i didn't uh, at that point i didn't really have a car so i walked to work and it just so happened to be um that i was losing weight right and i think that had something to do with it i'm not going to pretend like it didn't so i'm not going to say that all i did was sit there and play video games and i lost weight obviously you have to do something um but what i am trying to say is that to lose weight you don't have to go to the gym four or five times a week you don't have to spend an hour and a half there every single time you don't have to build a complicated workout regiment it's way simpler than that and it's very easy to incorporate gaming and very lazy hobbies into losing weight and weight loss right a majority of losing weight is uh, based on what you eat because weight loss is based on calorie consumption so if you have you know if it takes certain amount of calories for your body to maintain its current body weight then as long as you eat fewer than that your body will be forced to burn fat and in extreme circumstances it will burn muscle but of course if you're overweight then you're far from from that now i have a list here on my phone of probably about i don't know 30 different benefits of losing weight now this is one important thing to keep in mind is that you start to see benefits of losing weight by losing just 5% of your body weight. So if you weigh 200 pounds, then losing 10 pounds, you will start to notice actual changes in your body and in your lifestyle. So with that being said, I'm going to read off a couple of these, right? So if you lose just 5% of your body weight, um, then you will have a decreased risk of diabetes, lower blood pressure, improved cholesterol levels, decreased risk of heart disease and certain cancers, improved mobility, decreased joint pain, improve, improved blood sugar levels, decreased risk of stroke and reduced back pain. On top of that, some of the lifestyle benefits are having a more active social life because you'll feel better about how you look, um, greater confidence, better sleep, better wardrobe, improved energy, decreased stress, improved body image, improved vitality, and improved mood all of those things are things that people love right people would love to lower their risk of certain cancers people would love to have a better more healthy more happy lifestyle right so with that being said why don't people lose weight if they decide that they want to and they decide that it would be healthy for them why don't they do that and this is something that people who've never if you've never been fat or overweight or whatever this is something that people do not understand they just don't understand why why you don't just stop eating right like just stop eating so much that's what people it's kind of like a troll comment on the internet but that's it's like they're kind of serious they're like why don't you just eat less food right um and there's plenty of reasons why people 
don't lose weight the biggest one is that you know they've tried before and they failed and people hate when they fail at things and they don't want to continue to fail if you can avoid failure you will even if it's unhealthy um, another thing is people think it's expensive they think eating healthy is expensive they think that they have to get a like maybe a personal trainer or a gym membership or gym clothes or workout equipment or whatever they think they can't afford the healthy lifestyle which is a huge lie it's not true at all you don't need to spend a lot of money to lose weight and another one is people can't break their unhealthy relationship with food in the long Long term so maybe they eat healthy for two to three weeks and then that willpower starts to degrade and then now all of a sudden they've been eating like garbage for two weeks and they don't even know what happened they forgot that they were on a diet and they didn't they don't know where it all went wrong so with this being said um in order to lose weight you have to lose weight consistently and slowly over time um, and that's the key right a lot of people a lot of people fail at losing weight because they think they they have to lose all their weight really fast they want to lose five pounds a week right and that's just not gonna happen you're not gonna uh, lose a ton of weight really fast it's not even healthy to do that right it, it has huge effects on your hormones if you eat way too little so the first thing that you have to understand is that you're not gonna lose a bunch of weight really fast it's just not gonna happen plus you don't even want it to happen right because a lot of times if you do end up like starving yourself for a certain amount of time and you lose you know 20 pounds you're gonna snap right back and you're gonna go right back to your old habits and you're gonna gain all that weight you're gonna binge eat this happens all the time this happens all of the time because people you know they want it to happen fast and they just do everything they can and then they end up back in their old ways the goal is to keep it off right the goal is not to get to your goal weight your goal is to stay at your goal weight right that is the goal and again i've been my weight for about two years now it's it's effortless for me to stay this weight now of course if i see myself getting gaining a little bit i can just lose a little bit it's easier that way than losing 75 pounds right it's easier to make small adjustments over time so the first thing you have to understand is that this is going to take a little bit of time um but i'm going to try and make this as effort effortless for you guys as possible so again the number one rule is calorie deficit right that's the number one thing you can ignore macronutrients micronutrients all that stuff for now right and of course they're all important i'm not going to pretend like they're not but the number one thing for losing weight is calorie deficit this is this is there is an abundance of proof for this specific fact right so the goal is to make your calorie deficit as effortless as possible the number one thing that I would recommend is first download an app that you can track your calories right and you know once you do this for a month or two you're actually not even gonna really need the app anymore because you're gonna have an idea of how much you're eating but if you're a beginner at this I highly recommend tracking what you're eating every single day the app that I use is called lose it I'm not sponsored by them they're not paying me to say this but I've used it for many years I think it's a really great app it gets the job done and it's completely free so you don't have to pay for anything to use the biggest features that they offer which is really really great so they have a built-in database of all the foods that you essentially would eat you can find all sorts of fast foods on there as well you know like name brand foods you know uh, um, foods that you see on the shelves and things like that along with vegetables and fruits and everything so yeah it's a great app but if you have friends that use some other app then go ahead and use whatever they use I know my fitness pal is pretty popular you could just whatever you know there's all sorts of apps that help you with this but that's the one that I use so using that app go ahead and create create a goal in the app so you can go in and pick you know what body weight do you want and what uh, what is your body currently like how tall are you are you male or female how much do you weigh you put in all that information and then you choose how many pounds per week you want to lose um, two pounds per week is like the most aggressive the most difficult that you could do it's up to you guys um, at the beginning of your weight loss journey two pounds a week might be a good idea if you're very overweight so if you're over 200 and 10 pounds maybe um, two pounds a week is probably not that hard for you um, so you can try that but let's say you're 180 pounds then two pounds a week is you know it's not gonna be fun it's gonna be very uncomfortable so with that being said download the app tell the app what your goal weight is and all of the other body dimensions that it asks for and it will tell you how long until you reach your goal and it will also tell you how many calories you can eat per day now all you have to do is make sure that you don't eat more than that calorie restriction right okay it sounds easy I know it sounds easy but uh, it's much harder in practice so I'm gonna try and tell you guys how I went about doing it and how I went about staying at or under the number of calories that the blue set app tells me to eat every day in order to reach my goal by the estimated date again the first 20 pounds of me losing weight wasn't that difficult I didn't have to try too hard all I did was um, walk a little bit every 
every day or every other day um and i also cut out junk food right so that's the first thing is trying to cut out junk food if you can um and i'm going to get into a couple of tips later about you know what you can eat to kind of satiate your cravings for certain junk foods um so we'll get to that in a, in a little bit i don't want you guys to think that i'm just brushing that under the rug because that's a huge thing right like junk food is what people struggle with the most sometimes um, so i'm gonna address that later but for now i want to focus on calorie deficit so the the thing that helped me the most getting down to my goal weight you know with the last you know i would say 30 pounds especially the last 15 pounds it, those were it gets a lot harder down uh, at those weights um what helped me the most was intermittent fasting and i think that this can help people who are overweight even more than people who are getting close to their goal weight because you know it, you have a lot more weight to lose so essentially and this is very generalized right so if you guys are you know if you if you're a nutritionist or you're studying medicine or whatever the case is if you're studying biology i know that this is way oversimplification right but let's just say right for argument's sake um it takes about 12 hours for your body to stop using the energy that it gets from the food that you just ate so let's say you eat dinner 12 the next 12 hours your body's probably going to use that food as the energy to keep you alive to keep you walking around and thinking and you know just going throughout your daily tasks right your body will not burn fat if it has readily available food in your stomach and in your digestive system it's just going to use that food first as energy because it's easier right it takes energy and it takes effort for your body to package up fat and make it a, a store of energy right it takes energy and it takes effort for your body to store fat so if it doesn't have to go and tap into that energy store it's not going to so as long as you have food in your system your body is not going to burn fat it's just going to burn whatever you're eating unless you are working out like crazy and you're just burning off that energy like super fast right but that's not the goal because again if you guys like video games and you like netflix and you don't like to burn fat and lose weight then you're not going to want to do that right especially not long term so the goal of intermittent fasting and this is like the basics of intermittent fasting is a calorie deficit obviously we've talked about that and b waiting five to eight hours after waking up to eat your first meal now what i do is kind of a dirty form of fasting because i technically break my fast before the five hours but the biggest part about the uh, about pushing your meals later in the day is that it becomes harder and harder for you to eat the full amount of your daily calories in you know a meal or a meal and a half right so here's what i do i will wake up let's say i wake up at eight right so that means my first meal is at least at one ideally it should be a little bit later but if you guys are beginners with this just try five hours just try five hours you'll realize once you get in the hang of it it's not that hard and then you can dial it up to six hours or seven hours um and and go from there right and eventually it'll just be your daily routine right and you, you want to build that routine because that's how you're going to keep this weight off in the long run so i wake up let's say it's eight o'clock around nine o'clock i will have coffee ideally you want to have black coffee so if you guys have a keurig this is going to be difficult for you because keurig brews disgusting coffee usually it's way too hot or it's like burned or whatever it's really like i'm so happy that i stopped using my keurig i use an aeropress now but if you like the coffee that your keurig brews brews perfect um it's best to have it black i usually put a tiny bit of creamer in it and you know because if you put a lot of cream a lot of sugar all of a sudden that's 120 calories worth of coffee right and that's just like you immediately broke your your fast right away first thing in the morning right and you don't want to do that so i would put only a couple of calories worth of coffee creamer just to make it a little bit better for me to drink of course i did drink a lot of black coffee when i lost the 50 pounds um so if you guys can kind of build the habit of drinking it black definitely do that because it's definitely better and coffee is key because of a couple of reasons one um caffeine is an appetite suppressant right it just it's just proven to be so having that appetite will help you kind of forget the fact that you just woke up and you're kind of hungry um and also coffee itself is kind of an appetite suppressant as well so it's a win-win and also black coffee is zero calories so you're not breaking your fast right so wake up after an hour once you start to feel a little bit hungry drink some black coffee have one maybe two cups of black coffee and bam now you're gonna you are gonna realize that you're less hungry then than you were when you first woke up even though more time has passed now the next thing that i'm gonna recommend is again if you wake up at 8 a.m 1 p.m should be the minimum goal right you don't want to eat food before 1 p.m right 
Um, so what I would say is, an, or you don't want to eat a meal before 1 p.m. So what I would say is, at nine, you're gonna have that black coffee. Two hours before your first meal, so if your first meal is at one, then at 11, I would say have a piece of fruit. So if you have a small apple or a banana, that's about a hundred calories, right? So you're having, you're waking up at eight and you're having coffee, which is about no calories. And if you wait until 11 to have a piece of fruit, like a banana or an apple, that's only a hundred calories. And you've been awake for three hours throughout the day so far. And the reason that you're eating um, this fruit is because one of the first things that happens is after you've slept all night and you wake up and you start to do stuff, your body is out of liver glycogen. And when you're eating, your body's actually storing some sugar so it can use and regulate your, your blood sugar throughout the day, right? Because that's that your body has to maintain your blood sugar levels. Um, so it'll store this glycogen so that way it can maintain its it, the blood sugar levels throughout the day, even when you're not eating. Um, and eventually it runs out of that storage, right? So you're going to start to feel hungry when that happens because your body's like, okay, like our blood sugar is actually going to start to drop now if you don't eat. So you're going to start to feel hunger pains and you're going to want to eat. So what the fruit does is that it's giving you a pretty much a natural form of sugar that your body can use to replenish that liver glycogen and postpone that hunger a little bit longer, right? So essentially what you're doing is kind of, it's kind of like a, you're, you're refilling your body's emergency sugar stores and it buys you a little bit of time, right? And that's really all we're looking for is a little bit of time. Cause as long as you can push that meal a little farther out throughout the day, then you're going to have a better time in the evening and it's going to be easier to do this. And again, if you wake up um, and and you're doing something pat that you're passionate about, which I know is not the case for most people, including myself, um, then waiting five hours to eat sometimes isn't even that hard, right? Like, let's say you wake up and it's and you're going on vacation and you don't even realize that you haven't eaten all day because you've just been having so much fun. Like, I'm sure you guys have been there, right? So five hours isn't that hard once you start to get used to it, right? And it doesn't even take that long. Um, now the third tip that I want, that I want to give you guys for these first five hours is drinking sparkling water or something like LaCroix or some sort of, um, sparkling beverage, because not only, you know, of course you want to be hydrated during this time, because otherwise you're going to get a headache because you haven't drank or eaten anything. Um, so you want to stay hydrated, but also the carbonation from beverages like this, uh, helps to kind of emulate a feeling of fullness in your stomach which is good right you want to feel full even if you're not um so just to recap you wake up after an hour have some black coffee maybe a little bit of creamer in there if you need to like myself two hours before your first meal you're going to have a piece of fruit to replenish liver glycogen and throughout that time you're going to drink sparkling water or regular water if you don't like sparkling water just drink regular water and drinking water is going to make you feel full okay so if you followed those tips then you've gotten to 1 p.m in the day and you've only had about a hundred calories so let's say your calorie goal is you know 2000 calories per day, right? Then that means you have 1900 calories to get you from the, from 1 PM till the end of your day. And eating 1900 calories is going to feel so much better when you spread it out throughout that smaller time frame, right? Like if you're going from one to, let's say you go to bed at 11, 1900 calories is going to be a lot easier over a 10 hour span than it is from the moment you wake up to the moment you go to bed, right? Because at the end of the day, it's the same amount of calories. So if you can wake up motivated to, to, you know, fast in the morning and you could just push that first meal a little bit further in the day. Now you can have all those calories in a smaller time frame, which means you don't have to watch what you eat as much, right? Of course you don't want to go over, um, but it's a lot easier to have two medium sized meals or one smaller meal and one giant meal to fill 1900 calories than it is to maybe, you know, snack every couple of hours or have three small meals and, you know, have this and that, like, that's a, a huge thing that I always hated about losing weight is like, Oh, you know, every two hours have a granola bar and then, you know, have a, an apple and then have a salad and then have a little half of a sandwich. And then for dinner, have a little piece of meat and like, I'm not going to do that, dude. I don't want to put all that effort in. So instead what I'm going to do is I'm going to fast for the morning and fasting has tons of health benefits. You can look them up. They're well documented. Other animals, other species fast. Um, so it's not just humans. It's not some weird thing. Like we are built to do this. Um, so instead I'm going to fast for the morning. I'm going to fast for the first five to eight hours. 
and then at the end of the day i'm gonna just eat whatever i want because at that point it doesn't really matter as long as you stay in that calorie goal you're going to lose weight that's the number one rule of weight loss so it doesn't matter what you do throughout that day if you're in a calorie deficit now of course working out is healthy getting exercise is healthy it's good for your cardiovascular cardiovascular system for your muscles everything um it's great to work out but my point is you can be in a calorie deficit while going about your day as normal without struggling too much just by fasting in the morning and you can spend all your free time playing video games watching netflix reading books being just living a sedentary lifestyle you can just go on your phone or whatever you do it doesn't matter what you do as long as you're in that calorie deficit and these this intermittent fasting um has you know really really helped me get to my body weight now one of the things and i said that i would mention this earlier one of the things that i struggled with the most is chocolate because i love chocolate right i love cake i love brownies um chocolate chip cookies like i love all of that stuff so one thing i realized is that i had to cut that out if i wanted to really lose weight if i really wanted to get down to my goal weight i couldn't really fit oreos in the equation too much right like maybe once a week but once i had them i wanted them more i won them again i wanted them every day so i want i had to figure out a way to overcome that addiction to chocolate essentially right so what i did is i found a substitute that i was happy with um I would have, and before they used to have 90 calorie brownies and they were way better than these. Um, but I haven't found the 90 calorie brownies in a couple, in like a month or two. So I think they've replaced them with these, which is unfortunate because these are not nearly as good, but they still get the job done. So essentially what I did is I started eating 501 brownies anytime that I had a chocolate craving and they are good enough, right? If you have a chocolate protein bar, it tastes like garbage because whey protein tastes terrible um but this is just a uh, chocolate and fiber right it's a small serving size and that's how you get the small calorie count um and if you have two if you have to have two it's only 140 calories which is like half a donut right half of a donut is nothing but two of these is pretty good so again i'm not sponsored by them they don't pay me they don't know i'm making this video it doesn't matter but they did help me lose 50 pounds and i feel like i kind of owe them this free marketing so that's how i overcame my chocolate addiction is by replacing it with something relatively healthy right and of course fiber is good for digestion fiber is good to have in your diet in general and finding those effortless replacements are key to keeping the weight off and to making it effortless right that's what you want you want it effortless so if you love coca-cola try to drink diet coke or coke zero or some other alternative or just cut sh cut soda out if you can right um alcohol is another one alcohol i don't have a great solution for because i don't really drink so that was never a problem for me but for some people who drink socially or you drink you know every night or every weekend or whatever alcohol has a ton of calories so you might struggle to cut that out of your diet but you know you're finding these alternatives are what's going to be key to helping you in the long run now i could talk about this topic for another 30 minutes but i i want to cut the video here because like it, it, the longer the video is the less likely you guys are going to watch it and i really want this to help as many people as as possible so again I just wanted to bring you these tips i lost a vast majority of my weight by implementing intermittent fasting and continuing the hobbies that i love which is gaming and watching tv and stuff so you know it's it can be done and i felt like these tips might be able to help somebody out there maybe somebody watching this can use what i've said to either inspire them or to you know incorporate it into their life and and start to try and lose the weight themselves um it worked for me i've kept the weight off for two years um and, and it hasn't been hard right it has not been hard for me to stay this weight at all i can pretty much eat whatever i want but it wasn't easy to get here right and that that's what i'm trying to say so using these tips made it as easy as pause as it possibly could be for me um, to get to this body weight and hopefully that will be the same for you guys and if you enjoyed the video guys make sure you drop a thumbs up it would really help my channel a ton comment down below if you have any questions about fasting or losing weight or you know if you have any specific things just comment down below and i will try to answer every single one of you guys with your specific questions for your specific lifestyle and circumstance subscribe if you're new around here and click the bell if you want to get notif a notification every time that i post a video if not that's totally cool and with that being said guys thank you so much for watching this has been omni i will talk to you guys again soon peace